Today in this video, I'm going to talk about what is the must item you need to buy in BDO's Pearl Shop and putting tier lists afterwards for the rest of the Pearl items that might help your journey through in BDO. If you're new to my content, please be aware. I make some great juicy 2023 contents for new returning BDO players. And so if you have not played for two years or just new to the BDO, my content is just going to help your journey in BDO. So what are we waiting for? Let's get this started. First, we need to buy some pearls. In order to do so, go to your pearl shop and then go click pearl box right here on this tab. And then after that, you guys can see a whole bunch of pearl boxes that you guys can buy in BDO. Now empty that safe. This is basically real money in real life. And so basically 1000 pro box is basically same as $10. However, if you guys buy more, you guys do definitely get more bonuses. And so, you know, more you spend, get more free stuff in BDO. However, there is some seventh anniversary right now, guys, happening in BDO. I highly recommend and suggest you guys buying these ones, which is like Asian deal, two for ones or one plus ones, because the reason behind that is it's just so juicy. <laughs> money, money, money. Technically, we're just buying 1,000 here, for example, and we only get $10. However, buying these ones basically give us, you know, another $10 for free, and we can basically buy two more. And so I highly recommend you guys getting these ones from events if you guys can or not just get these ones two plus ones deals where you guys can get, you know, $120, but you can get $60 for free as well. After getting some money in BDO, let's go talk about some must buys in BDO. There is a must item you guys have to buy in BDO, which is buying this campsite. This campsite is usually $50, which is 4,900 pearls which represents 1,000 pearls is basically $10. However, it's 4,900, so it's like around $49, but you know, technically it's basically $50. However, with discounts on like 50% off, you guys can get it around, you know, $42. However, if you guys are new to BDO, usually BDO sponsors and gives you guys a coupon. So on the top right, you guys can click coupon book and then have some all the list of coupons that you guys can use. And if you guys have anything that's related that you guys can buy um, your campsite for a discount, I would highly suggest you guys use those coupons to get yourself a discount to buy a cheaper price. For example, if this is on 15% off, and usually for new BDO players, they can get it up to like 50% discount, guys. I even saw it with my eyes and witnessed it, and then saw it on my friend's basically news account. And they were able to get basically 50% off on anything on these items. And so I highly recommend you guys using that 50% off on your tent for campsite. The reason why campsite is so good guys is that it has a repair shop. And so you guys, after grinding and you need to fix your durability, you can literally just fix it there in your campsite. And then after that, if you guys click shop, you guys can also buy a drop rate from 1% to 50%. And depending on the silvers, it does cost a little bit of money, but it's still worth it in late game location grindings and so on. And this is really good for, you know, using them when you're grinding for pop pieces, locations, or just high RNG, you know, location drops. And also they sell potions right here, guys. And you guys can buy either the HPs or MPs. And then you guys can also buy these ones, Adnis Firefly, and it gives you guys basically light at nighttime. And if you guys need a gold bar, you guys can also buy a gold bar there. And then after that, this one, Adventures Confidence, where you guys can get basically extra up against monsters plus 10, skill EXP plus 10%, and heat stroke. However, if you guys do activate Secret of an Old Moon or have a Villa Scroll right here, you guys can click the Villa Scroll right here and then get yourself a buff for life skill, for example, for this one. And then if you guys want to get power level by somebody, then you, can, then you guys can use something like, you know, combat EXP or skill EXP for that as well. If not, if you're also grinding, you can get yourself this one, which is very nice. All AP plus 10, all DP plus 10, max HP 200, all resistance 10%. And you guys can get it up to, you know, 60 minutes buff, all the way up to 300 minute buff. And so that's why campsite is just really good for PVE grinding and PVP fights. If you guys want to learn about how to activate Book of Old Moon, I basically talk about you guys there for more campsite informations. And so yeah, go ahead and watch this video guys. And it's going to teach you guys more about that there. And that is the reason why the campsite is a must buy item guys. And gonna put this above the S tier. Character slot expansion. When this is always 50% off guys, I kind of recommend you guys getting so. And the reason behind that is if you guys press P, 
there's a combat fame. And so if you guys look at this right here, it says double from 56, quintuple from level 60. And so if you guys do so, mine is about 8,551. And the reason behind that is because I have all the classes are basically 61 or above. And so because of that reason, I have basically have the best and the highest combat fame. And then it basically also gives me daily money, which is 12 or 13 mil silver per day. Technically it's, you know, 12.6, but let's just say, yeah, I'm making 13 mil guys every day. Easy clap. And you can collect it from silver from the Black Spirit safe. So it will basically go down right here on this Black Spirit safe. And then after that, it will basically come right here on collectible silver. And then all you guys can do is just click on this, collect silver reward and get your money. And so higher, the better guys. And the most important part is that if you guys get your combat fame up as well, you can also get your family fame. And the nice about getting family fame is that if you max out your family fame, you guys can get it up to money back guarantee for 1.5% in central market and the item drop rate of 10%. So it's really, really convenient for your PVE grinding as well. So your question now is how do I get my characters to level 61? Well, I have an answer for you. If you just go to YouTube, type my name with the winner, and then just scroll down. And then if you guys find this video called the only fastest way to level up in Black Desert Online, you got to watch this video, guys. And it's going to basically get you to 61 in two hours. Another fastest way to get another class to get to level 61 is using Fugar's timepiece. And so if you guys are not too sure, definitely you know, just Google Fugar's timepiece BDO. And it basically tells you all about it. But what it does is basically, let's say that you guys made a seasonal character this season and then get it up to level 61. And then if you guys use Fugar's timepiece, basically it copies and pastes and makes the second class also becomes level 61. However, if you move stop around level 60 and then use Fugar timepiece, the other character also becomes level 60. And so higher the better. And so I highly recommend you guys using this on 61. And so because of that reason, I would say character slot is also a must buy. Unless you guys are full on your combat fame and also your family fame, then you're good to go. And you basically don't have to buy anymore. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. Black Spirit Pass. And so if you guys look at this item, you guys can basically get the Spirit Pass for um, your Seasonal Pass. However, it's not really necessary unless you guys are actually are new to BDO. And the reason behind that is it does kind of help you guys out in the very beginning because it does give you guys more time field black stones if you guys do so. And then basically it duplicates, you know, whatever the left one was, for example, time field stone. And so you guys will need these product in order to enhance your gears to pen to valid gears. And it just gives you guys more extras. For example, if you guys buy this black spirit pass. And same thing with these ones right here, right? It gives you 100 more here, 200, 300 right here, 300, 400, 500, and so on. However, it can also be done by doing your weekly quest, which is by going to recurring. And then right here, seasonal, weekly, stronger to valid gears. And then literally just kill any monsters. You just need to go to the node manager around in that location. And then after that, accept the quest and then basically kill them. And then after you guys do so, you guys can have three choices of, you know, getting the rewards. But I highly personally recommend getting the time filled black stones because with these time filled black stones, you guys can still trade in Fugar for Tuvala Ore and refine magical black stone. And so black spirit, I will maybe just give B tier because it's not the greatest, honestly, for value wise. I personally think it could have been cheaper maybe then people would buy more. But since it's $30, I wouldn't say it's actually on, on S tier or A tier. And it's still good for new video players or if you guys just need time field black stones right away, then that's the good time to basically buy black spirit pass. After that, let's talk about premium boxes. Are they actually worth to buy it? And so here is my result. If you guys just go to central market and then click on pearl item and then just click anything on your male apparel, female apparel, and then just click the stats right here. You guys can basically see all the premium boxes of any classes. And so you guys can literally just buy it with a silver price and it's only cost around 840 mil. The more the order list, the more longer you have to wait. However, you know, for this one, it only has two orders. And the recent transaction was like literally yesterday. And so it's not even too bad to get these ones if you guys are interested. And if you guys think about 840 mil, that is not too bad at all. It's basically burning your level two scrolls and agris, right and centerist. And if you guys do so, you guys can basically get amount that much of silver as well anyways. 
And so every hour, you guys can basically get a premium box this yourself. And so if you guys want to do that strategy without spending any pearls, that's what I would recommend doing so. And so because you guys can buy it in Central Market, I really don't think it's necessary. So I'm going to either put it on C or D, but, you know, let's just put it on C so that way maybe BDO don't kick me out on my content creator in BDO. Same thing with classes boxes. I would probably put D tier on that. And the reason behind that is usually if you guys are getting to late games, you guys will start needing crons. And to get crons, what people usually like to do is just to burn it from blacksmith and get yourself a cron from burning your premium boxes or classic boxes, or you can purely just buy it from the blacksmith of one cron of two mil. However, premium boxes are right now to an 840 mil in silver, and then classic boxes are 675 silver. And so let's have a scenario that we need 1000 crons. And so let's see how much will it cost. And so right now what I did was basically, you know, 1000 divided by 621, which will give me this number and same thing with classic boxes and blacksmith. And then with this number, I basically multiply it with silver and then look how much it will cost me. For example, if I kept buying premium boxes and needed 1000 crowns, guys, I would basically need 1.352 bill. And if I only bought the classic ones, it would cost me, you know, 1.347 bill. And then if I just purely buy it from blacksmith, guys, it will just going to cost me purely two bill. So price different wise with premium and classic, you do just technically save like five mil, right? And so it doesn't really actually matter if you just buy the premium or classic. It's really up to you. It's pretty accurate and pretty precise and close. And so it doesn't really matter. But since, you know, premium boxes does save you five mil, classic boxes are D tier and below premium boxes. And it's only five mil difference, guys. Isn't that crazy? We we're just putting this guy on D tier because just five mil difference, man. Emotional damage. So this is something that you might actually want to buy, which is Theris Orb, guys, until you guys actually hit Miracles Cheer 5 and the Weight System 5. This one is very nice because it does actually re-roll the skills for you guys, and it depends on your skills. So if you guys have five skills, it does cost five orbs. However, in my video, I teach you guys that you guys must have get to get the cheer five on the first skill or the weight on the first skill, and then on the second skill, you basically keep re-rolling until you get the other. And so if you guys want to learn more about it, go ahead and please watch this video called right here. How to get Radiant Fairy, you know, without spending a single pro in BDO. So if you watch this though, and it will cost you around one bill for every, you know, attempt to get a Radiant Fairy and then trying to reroll for it. So yeah, if you guys want to be convenient for that one though, I highly recommend you guys using the orb and just keep rerolling until you guys get either Miraculous Cheer 5 again for the first one or second one and get the fairy steps. Make sure you guys get one of these two 100% guaranteed, not even four. I really recommend you guys just keep rolling until you guys hit five. I guarantee you, like, it's really, really worth it. And the reason behind that is, if you guys look at Miracle's Cheer 4, it has three seconds cooldown to use it for auto casting. However, Miracle's Cheer 5 has cooldown of two seconds. And then let's say that we're using this instant HP potion and it gives you guys 275 HP. And then let's have a scenario moment, guys. Let's say that we were PvPing or PvE grinding for two minutes and then convert that into seconds, which is 120 seconds. And then cheer four gives you guys, you know, three seconds for you reusing the HP potion. And then cheer five was two seconds. Remember that? So what we're going to do, easy math, is that we're going to basically 120 divided by three seconds. And then we're going to divide it by 120 again of two seconds. So as you guys see, in two minutes, Fairy were able to feed us, you know, the potions 40 times on the cheer 4. However, on the cheer 5, it basically gave you guys and feed yourself 60 more times. So it basically feed you guys 20 more times and also depending on HP potion. So for example, we're using 275 HP. And so guess what? Every time you guys use 275 times 40, and you guys basically got yourself, you know, 11k of HP back. However, on cheer 5, look how much AP you guys could have got. You guys can basically get 1,600, 500 HP more. And so, you know, if you do this, subtract that, we could have got 5,500 more HP just from that two minutes fight. So imagine that, guys, and that's why cheer 5 is just so much better versus cheer 4. And so that's why I really recommend you guys going for cheer 5, just to get that 5,500 HP more. It's really big difference when it usually comes for longer PvP fights.
And so the orb is honestly S or A. I'll just put it on A for now though, but you definitely want to buy these when it's on sale guys, because they rarely go on sale. And so if you guys have like 15% off on these, those are the time that you guys want to buy orbs and then re-roll your fairies. And hopefully that you guys can get either tier five and wait. And then after that, roll for the next skills and so on. And then let's talk about maids for a second. For maids, if you guys watch one of my YouTube video, if you guys watch about this video right here, this is a secret of getting unlimited storage maids. And so if you guys are interested in that or not too sure how you do that, then definitely click that video guys. It's going to teach you guys a strategy and a method so that way you guys don't ever have to buy storage maid. And you guys can always get storage mages from events and just free drops from Pearl Abyss. And so yeah, I highly recommend you guys just not buying the storage maid because they just come and goes in those events. Just keep in mind, there is two types of mates, which is storages and central market. So if you guys click the storage ones, we can basically have an access of your close location. If I was grinding around right here, it's close to Heidel. And then when I open my mates, it's basically going to open my storage. And then after that, I can put all my trash loots there. However, with that video I taught you guys just now, is that going to teach you, you know, basically don't need storage mate. And the reason behind that was basically using the horse. However, central market can be convenient ones. Um, I think it would be nice to have a central market ones, especially when you guys are grinding like in Achmans. And if you guys do so, you guys will basically get all these scrolls called. Scrolls are written in Asian language and you get many of those over there in desert. And so I highly recommend you guys maybe just getting the central market is because you do get a lot of ancient language scrolls if you guys start grinding in Achman and Hysteria in desert location. However, besides that, I noticed that you don't really need Central Market as well though once you guys stop grinding in the desert area. And so it's really up to you guys if you want to get made if you wanted to. And so because of the horse hack, we can basically put this on a D tier, it's not really necessary, and then put the Central Market one on C tier. There are something that I would actually recommend instead of getting maids is actually the inventory slots, which I would put in B tier, and then I'll tell you guys reason right now. If you guys look at the backpack bundles right now in the central market, and if they are on sale, you guys can basically can get up to 32 slots if you guys buy the $15 ones. However, if you buy the triple mate pack, it's going to cost you guys $22. And so let's have a scenario that we're grinding the scroll within the Asian language in Aquaman, for example, for compass pieces or map pieces and, you know, grinding at like sulfurs or, you know, Pilaku jail. And so if we compare the mate versus the bag slots, the bag slots give us 22 slots and then maids can only trade in three of the slots and then it does have a 20 minute cooldown after using it, just like this. And so, you know, after one hour or two hours of grinding guys, I can promise you guys that you guys will come out and, you know, take a break, go back to cities. And so I would really highly suggest that, you know, just getting the bag backpack is just better. And because just to give you more inventory slots versus getting the maids for the central market. Also keep in mind though, if you do use your inventory bag slots on one character, it is character bound. And so make sure you guys use that on your main character. It's also nice to have the bag ones, for example, AFK fishing. And let's say that I do actually want all the greens and the white ones too. And you, you guys can basically fill up all the fishes right here on the inventory as well. And so it's just really convenient wise just for life skill as well. If you also notice as well, some of the items have basically zero LT. What that means is that your main character can basically just hold it, keep it there instead of putting it in your storage so you know you don't fill up with all your junks on your storage. Also get these from events and you guys can also do a free quest. If you guys press O, go to suggested and then right here, inventor expansion. If you guys do also, you guys can basically get it up to like 10 additional slots if, if you guys do all these quests, for example. Wizard pets are really nice because it does give you guys a higher chance when you guys are re-rolling to tier, tier 4 pets. And so if you guys are having lots of tier 3 pets, wizards are very very nice to get yourself up to tier 4 because it does give you a higher chance. However, I personally think it's very very expensive pet and so I kind of don't recommend doing that. I kind of recommend you guys watching my video right here. If you guys don't want to spend any pearls and just go for you know free to play, it does cost you a lot of pearls. It's basically, you know, 200 mil for every pet if you buy in a silver. However, yeah, it's free. You know, you don't have to pay any pearls. And so if you guys are interested in that, go please watch this video and then it's going to teach you guys how to do so.
If it was cheaper, I would definitely put it like on B, but since it's so expensive, I would definitely put it on C or D. But let's just put it on C for now, since you guys do need to hit those tier 4 pets so that you guys can be efficient on PvE grinding. After that, the weight limit guys, once again, this can be really good for life skillers honestly, because if you guys go for processing, for example, I have my processing going in my Calpheon location. Reason why weights can be really nice for life skillers is for example, when I'm doing processing, I'm making lots of guru cooking boxes. However, if I have more weight limits, that means I can basically make up to like 300 guru cooking boxes right here in front of the Calpheon. In order to do so though, you do need to buy this Vanessa dress. And so if you guys can buy that during the sales, usually it can get up to 30% sale. And so I highly recommend you guys getting this if you guys are life skiller. And then after that, you guys can basically make all these guru cooking boxes. And so while I'm doing this now, I can basically, you know, do other things and multitask and do other stuff. And then, you know, it basically makes more stuff for me so I can basically AFK longer and then come back later. Another good thing increasing your weight system is that for cooking wise, we can basically cook for a longer period of time. So usually there's a normal ones, which is 900, which is for advanced cooking utensils. But if you guys keep playing the game and throughout the events, you can also get like something like Supreme Cooking Utensil, which has 5,000 doability. So these are the ones that you guys want to use for this scenario when you guys have a lot of weight system. And so that way you guys can basically cook vinegar, for example. That's what I usually like to do. And then just cook whenever you guys can. Another good one is basically grinding, guys, right? So if I'm grinding with my main character, which is Ninja right now, and then let's say that, you know, I want to grind even a little bit longer. And that weight system definitely helps me, you know, to grind longer. If I had a small weight system, then, you know, I would basically use the horse trick. However, I will basically visit my horse so much and it might actually reduce my time for PvE grinding. And so weight system does kind of help you to grind longer efficiently. Also, friendly reminder, you guys can't really get your horses in Achman or Hysteria in desert area. However, they do have an NPC in there, but it, you know what I mean is that you don't want to travel all the time to go to the NPC to sell stuff. And so weight system does definitely help in the futures. And so that's the reason I will probably put the weight system on A, but it's not the greatest thing on earth, right? Like it's not something that you guys have to get. And the reason behind that would be basically again, the horse. However, it is very nice and convenient for yourself. However, it is also character bound. And so you guys have to make your decision wisely and then use that on your specific character. And then right here, guys, it's called Mount Skill Change Coupons. These skills are only good when you guys want to reroll your horse training skills to get Kozer or even get yourself a dream horse and then keep re-rolling until you guys want some kind of skill that you guys want. Personally, I think I kind of recommend you guys just buying the dream horse if you guys actually want the dream horse in BDO. Personally, I really recommend you guys getting the Pegasus and then those horses can glide around and it's really, really fun versus Doom horses and then the unicorns. And so, yeah, I personally really recommend getting the Pegasus. If you guys ever see Pegasus in the market, just buy it, bro. It's literally worth it because all you guys can see right now is literally just Doom and unicorns, which people don't really like anyways as well. Anyhow, I do have Mount Skill Change Coupon right here, guys, and I have 10 of those. What you guys can basically use those as is, if you guys look at the Tier 8 horses, for example, right here, and then click the Manage Skill, and let's see what I need to become a Cozair for this horse. And so, for example, if we look at it, and let's click Unlearn Skill, and then click Skill to Change right here. And then if you do that, it seems like I need so many of the Cozair skills. So the thing is, I need to get the drift one, I need to get a charge for this guy, sideways, and then instant assail as well, which is the honestly the hardest one to get. And so personally, I'm basically done with this horse. I'm literally just down to just sell it because there's just so much skills that I need to focus on to become a quizzer horse. So if you guys have one, two, three, or four that you need to still get, I would recommend just rerolling another horse basically. What I would recommend using Mount skill change coupon is when you guys have maybe one away or two away to become a Corsair horse. And the percentage chance is very, very low guys. It's RNG after all in BDO. And so yeah, it's up to you guys if you guys wanna buy these and then keep re-rolling until you guys can get a Corsair horse and then go for a dream horse attempts. So in conclusion with this one, I would definitely put on either C or D. And the reason behind that is RNG is too rough to get it. And I think personally, it's just better just to buy a dream horse if you guys want, or even just buy a Cozair horse as well. Like I showed you, I failed 42 attempts, and so it's just not worth it, I think it's my perspective. 
And so, you know, instead of spending pearls for rerolling your skills as well, I would just buy it in the market. If you guys are into sailing in BDO, I highly recommend you guys getting these ones. You can't basically buy any other way for skin wise for your sailings. And so, yeah, I would highly recommend it if they're ever on sale. And if you guys are into sailing, I would recommend buying these boat skins from Pearl Shop. And so with the boat, I would definitely put it on an S tier because there's literally no other way but to buy it in a Pearl Shop. Celestial Horse Calling Horn is really, really nice in BDO. It basically calls your horses in any other locations wherever you're at. However, there is a Celestial Horse Spirit and there's another one called Trainer's Flute. And so what that is, is that you guys need to add your Trainer's Flute and Celestial Horse in order to make Celestial Horse Calling Horn. If you guys do buy the Black Spirit Pass, if you guys hover right here, it does give you guys a Trainer's Flute and it's permanent. If you guys only have the Trainer's Flute, what you guys can do now in BDO in game is doing this quest called Celestial Horse Calling Horn. And with this quest, you guys can basically can get the Celestial Horse Spirit. And so all you guys need to do is get that and then get this Trainer's Flute and then get yourself a Celestial Horse Calling Horn. And so with that reason, you guys can get Celestial Horse Spirit from the quest. And so I will just put that on the D tier. After that, I will probably put the Flute on A tier. So that way, at least if you guys have this for permanent, then you guys can get this one from your quest and then just add it together to make this item. However, if you guys don't want to get the flute and just buy this item right away and just don't want to do the quest, then I would highly suggest to do that as well. And so I would definitely put that on AT as well. It's because it's really, really, really nice to have it. Actually, I'm going to put this on S tier. It's really, really nice. After that, we do have a mount skill selection coupon, which is $31 for changing any kind of skill that you guys want. However, this is very, very expensive, so I highly recommend you guys just not getting it. It's just not worth it in my perspective. And so since it's very, very expensive and not worth it, I put it on D tier. Just go please buy Pegasus. It's really worth it, I promise you. After that, this was very, very nice item for convenience, guys. And so if you guys are going for Black Star, and then if you guys want to enhance it yourself, Artist and Memory is where it's at. And same thing for like enhancing yourself for Fallen God. They do take away a lot of doability, and so I highly recommend you guys using those if you guys want to be convenience-wise to enhance your gears all the way up to like Tet or Duel for Fallen God. So another good strategy with that is if you guys are going to pay for the win, I would recommend you guys going for Black Star weapon requirements and make them yourself. All you need to do is just type Black Star BDO and then basically tells you guys how to make it. What you guys need to know is that you guys basically need Renevs of the Rift to start the quest. And you need to have Calpheon and Medaya questline completed, and then level 56, for example. And then after that, you can basically make Black Star weapons, and you do not require Spectre Energy at all. And so what you guys can do is make a main weapon, and then do that. But on Awakening weapons, I do remember that they do need Spectre Energy for those. And so the thing is, you can only make a main one. I'm actually not too sure about the sub weapon. However, I remember that awakening wise, you do need to get the Spectre energy and armor as well. And so yeah, if you still just want to make the main weapon and then just enhance it to Tet and then sell it yourself, it's really up to you, but that's a good strategy to make money as well in BDO. Keep in mind that you will do need a lot of fill stacks. Basically from Pride to Duo, I usually just use 40 stacks. And then Duo to Tries, I basically use 80 stacks. And then Tried to Tet attempts, I basically use from 100 to even 200. And so yeah, it's really up to you guys. RNG is RNG after all, and so good luck. And so Artisan, I would just put it around A. It's really up to you guys. That's kind of pay to win game, honestly, right here is getting your doabilities up for your Black Stars and Falling God to basically make money. You do get a lot of these during events as well. And so, yeah, no, it can be literally B or A, but I'm just gonna leave it on A because I love enhancing in BDO. For pet wise, I'm gonna talk about Artifact because this guy is really, really nice for PVE grinding. You can basically get drop rate of 5% if you can make him up to tier 5. And so I highly recommend you guys honestly start pre-ordering in Central Market because you guys can actually get him in Central Market. Or if you guys don't want to wait, just buy in a Pearl Shop and then just go from there. Or if there's ever a Black Panther on sale, make sure you guys can buy that as well if you want instead of Artifacts. It's because he also gives drop rate of 5%. And so, you know, Black Panther looks way cool, and so he's definitely S tier for sure, guys. But then Artifax, I would definitely put him on a lower tier because you can basically buy him in a central market. So once again, Artifax, I would definitely put him around C tier. 
because we can basically buy them in the market. It took me like months though, guys. Like a, one month or maybe two months. And so it does take time. However, you need to pre-order now if you want one to get that extra juicy 5% drop rate. However, Black Panther, you, you can't basically buy it in the market. And so yeah, the only way you can buy it is Pearl Shop. And so I will definitely put him on an S tier. What we're going to talk about next is Nader. I would definitely put him on an S tier. And the reason behind that is... You guys can get one for free once you guys hit level 58 and then accept the quest Nader's Ban Magic of the Dark Energy. And if you guys do so, you guys have one slotted activated for free. And then after that, you guys can also buy one from Loyalty for 10,000 Loyalty Shop. So I would highly recommend you guys also getting that from there. And then get yourself two slots open for Nader's Ban. However, you guys need to buy the rest, and so that's basically pay to win for convenience wise. And there is no other way to do so. And so, you know, in order to be convenient in BDO, I would recommend getting those on sale. Family inventory slots is definitely S tier and same thing with family inventory weight. If you're not too sure how to go get it, basically Google video family inventory and basically tells you guys all about it. What it is is basically, if you guys come to BDO, press I and then come to family slots right here. Any of your family can basically use of these slots. And so let's say that I'm on my this class, but then I wanted to play on my ninja. My ninja also has an access to use stuff in family inventor, for example. And so this is why it's very convenient. And what I usually like to do here is food or beer for my workers, for example, like right here, and then feed them just like that. And then that works for any classes. And so that's why it works conveniently right there. And then after that, I like to put my beast draws, you know, my crown meals, seafood crown meal, simple crown meal, exquisite, and then all my buffs for PVE grinding, and also my alien tears whenever I die, just in case from another class. I can also put a carry right there, for example, if I need to feed my horse. And also you can actually put a pet feed as well here, but I'm just out right now because I'm just too busy grinding and making video videos. However, there is literally no other way besides purchasing these in Pearl Shop. So I highly recommend you guys getting all the weight systems if you guys can on a sale and get those inventory slots open as much as you can. If you guys are a life skiller, Hedgehog is really, really nice. It's honestly a must buy item for you guys, especially if you guys are into gathering. And the reason behind that is Hedgehog gathers item quantity and increases extra gather chance. For example, let's say that we got these for hunting and then gather them up and then got our meat. But then it basically two for one deal. And there is literally no other way to get Hedgehog besides the Pearl Shop. And so I really recommend you guys just getting Hedgehog if you guys are life skillers. And then after that, same thing with Polar Bear. You guys can't really also buy that in Central Market. And so you can only buy that through like Pro Shop. And so, yeah, I would recommend you guys getting the Polar Bear to get that more weight limit system. After that, I think the Crystal slots is very, very nice. I feel like it's a must item. And same thing with the Crystal presets. If you guys are into PVPs and PVEs. Reason behind that is, let's say that one of them is for PvE grinding, one of them is like bad karma. Let's say that I want to go red flag and then I, I don't mind losing all these crystals, for example, and then use these kind of crystals. And then the other one can be like evasion build for fun. And then the other one is like PvP and I want lots of power, for example. And then this one is for power leveling. And then this is a scenario where I just use all these combat EXP of, you know, 180 if I get, you know, two more right there. And then on number six, I'm just, you know, planning more things. And you guys can even unlock even more if you guys need more as well, basically, for example. With the crystal slots, if you guys look at view crystals, I do have lots of crystals. And then you guys can basically hoard them right here and then have extras and extras of crystals. Because you never know how expensive these guys can go back up to or, you know, stuff like that. So I highly recommend you guys hoarding these crystals just in case if the prices goes up. And then, you know, you have all these nice money in here. Plus, you always want to have extras. Let's say that we want to use Elkar, and then if we die with it, we want to make sure we have the third one ready. So that way, when we're dead from mobs, then we have a, always a backup. And then we're going to talk about Black Spirit Essence. What this is, is basically pulls out all the crystals, what we put inside our inventory. However, if you did your research, there's no reason to pull them out. And so I would definitely put them on a D tier because also during the events, you get so many of these. And so I highly recommend, you know, not buying these because it's not really worth it. Emoji guys, oh my gosh, it's a must buy item, man. You can literally flex and the emojis are freaking cute and it's only $1.50. And so I highly recommend you guys getting that. There's literally no other way to get it besides Pearl Shop. Bell, I don't know why do they sell bells. Definitely D tier because you guys can basically get that in the guild and throughout the events. 
as you guys can see i have 28 bells right here and then one golden bell right here as well and so yeah it's just really not necessary i get so many of those during events and so yeah it's not really necessary to get that in pearl shop same with energy tonic just literally search guys video central market and then type energy and then you guys can literally see all the energies you guys can get there and literally has the same effect for this one which is five mil so yeah you guys can buy this in central market so it's absolutely not good. Tailoring, I could definitely put C on this one or D as well, honestly, because you guys can buy this in the market as well. However, you do guys need to get it because with that tailoring, you guys can put Hunter Clothes right here and get yourself 1 DP for free. And so right now, without this, I'm going to get 389. And because of the Hunter's Clothes, I get that one more DP and so get myself one more DP right there. And so you guys can also buy that in Central Market. So pre-order one right now and hopefully you guys get it within a month if you guys don't mind spending book of old moon i would recommend you know buying it but personally i would definitely just put it on c or d and just get it throughout the events or you know from free drops and the reason behind that is if you guys come to the my youtube channel and then watch this video how to activate book of old moon for free you guys will basically know everything about it and so if you guys are interested go watch that video like i mean it guys i, I don't need it honey one D tier because you guys can buy that also in Central Market. Fairy Might, it's your preference, but personally, it's a D tier for me because all I need to do is my strategy again, guys, is get up to Radiant Fairy and then get it up to level 10 and get one skill. And then after that, I will use my orb and then keep rolling until I get tier 5 or weight 5 again and then get to level 2 and then basically do the same thing until I get the other one. And then after that, I just keep rolling for the rest and I don't really care. And that's how you guys do it. And so. Very much, it's just not really necessary to use. After that, storage slots is actually really nice. Personally, I like it because you guys can have a free to play method, which is using your contribution points and then clicking like a Disney World symbol right here on any big places. And then after that, you guys can click the houses and get the storage right here. However, it does cost you guys around like six contribution, for example, for one of these scenarios and will spend your guys' contribution points. What I usually like to do with my contribution points is that get a lot of workers and basically get a free passive income. And so that is why the storage is really nice to get is because to get more contribution points, which equals to get more workers and to make them work and get more passive income. Going along with that with Lodge, I would definitely also put it on S tier as well because of the same reason. You guys can get more contribution points if you guys spend more on Pearl Shop. And so it, it is kind of pay to win at the same time, but it's also so good. And so if you guys are willing to give some money to BDO, that's just what I would do for sure. After that, also don't forget about the horse ranch as well. If you guys want more stable locations for a specific location, then yeah, you guys want to get that as well. It's also good. And you guys can save your contribution points by doing so. And so yeah, I would recommend getting that as well. And then after that, the container. If you're a free to play player, you just need to talk to the storage keeper. And then all you have to do is press chat and then that you can rent a container. However, it does cost 10 contribution points. And so if you guys basically buy that in Pearl Shop, you can save 10 contribution points. And so if you go into my house now, basically I have this premium container and I basically bought that in Pearl Shop and then basically gave me back my 10 contribution points. And so that way I can put extra workers, you know, in the node manager so I can make basically more money and get more passive income. And that is reason why I gave him the ST right here, just to get a little more contribution so I can get that little easy passive income in BDO. Marnie Fuels, I personally don't think it's necessary to get it in Pearl Shop. And the reason behind that is we get so much of these during the events. And once in a while in the lifetime in BDO, like once a year or twice a year, they come up with the announcement of, you know, there's a Marnie Fuel Times event where you guys can use a Marnie Times Fuel of just one of Fuel to copy and paste one of the character. However, this can be very expensive and it's not really necessary because we, again, we do get it a lot from the events. So I will just leave that on the D tier. Value pack is very nice to have. However, you can also buy it in the central market. And so maybe I would put it on like B or A. The reason why it is A and Bs is because if you come to the game and hover value pack, let's see the benefits guys. On the top left, it says inventory slots plus 16 and the storage slot plus 16, combat level, life amount EXPs of 30%, and then distance, node investment, consume 10 energy, max weight limit 200 LT. And then the most important part is that 300 silver collect 
upon central market sales, excluding pearl items. We do get a lot of these during events and stuff like that, guys. However, if you guys are out and don't have anything activated, I would highly suggest just get one in Pearl Shop. What we want to talk about is life skill EXP transfer coupons, and I would definitely put them on a D tier. And the reason behind that is you guys can buy it in Central Market. So if you guys ever made a mistake, you guys can basically buy that in Central Market. However, if you guys plan first thing out, you guys basically don't even need this in first place. For example, I'm going to explain what I do. So maybe that way you guys don't make a mistake on yourself. My mystic does, you know, a little bit of gathering, but the most important one was that it was cooking, processing, alchemy, and farming. And so for example, I'm cooking and doing alchemy in here, right? And then think about processing. Processing is really, really nice going along with something around a storage keeper. And so that way she can do stuff in the processing stuff. And then after that, I put my farmings on the very top of Calfion. And it's very, very nice to do it up here, guys. And so I highly recommend you guys doing that. And so my one class is basically doing the cooking, alchemy, processing, farming. And then my shy does gathering, fishing, hunting, and training. And also you guys can do like trading as well or sailing. It's up to you guys and I'll explain that why. The reason why my shy does gathering, fishing, and hunting, and training, if you guys think about the gathering and hunting, we do need to consume energy. However, with fishing wise, you don't really spend energy, right? If you just press spacebar and then same thing with training. And so while you guys are basically AFK at nighttime, I basically get my all energy back and then basically go for gathering and hunting whenever I have full of energy. And then I never got into like trading, sailing, bartering, so that doesn't really matter. But basically I have a character that's ready for, you know, four of things right here. And then my shy is basically ready for another gathering skills and so on. So once you plan things out like that in the very beginning, you basically don't need the exchange coupons. Granding is actually really nice to get. However, we do get these a lot from the events. And so if you guys are new to BDO, you guys should maybe buy it because it is really helpful, especially if you guys don't have a campsite. Also keep in mind, if you guys do buy the battle pass, you guys can get a brand spell stone there as well. And so if you guys want to, if it's your first time in BDO as well, I would recommend just buying so. And it also actually works for AFK fishing. And so you guys can actually add that on your AFK fishing rod if you guys want to, and then make that extension for your durability. However, we do get this from, you know, free to play and throughout the events. And so maybe I'll just put it on C for now, but it is very important. So that's why it's C or else it would have been just D. I will probably put the horse gears on C tier. And the reason behind that is you guys can basically buy in the central market. However, it's still good to have. And so I highly recommend you guys getting those in central market. Also, keep in mind that equipping these can give you guys movement speed of 1% as well. And they have an equip effect as well. For example, this one has horse max HP 500. This one also has a stamina of 500. And then this one has turn of 2%. And then this one has acceleration of 2%. However, you guys can still also buy this in Central Market as well. So start pre-ordering these right now if you guys want. And then hopefully you guys can get this as soon as possible as well. If you guys look at the apparel tab right here and then scroll all the way down, you guys can basically see like underwears and accessories. And I would actually highly recommend you guys getting these ones is because the underwear actually gives you guys luck plus one. And then the earring gives you guys higher great knowledge gain chance 5%. So it's really good for you guys if you guys are new to BDO and need to get knowledge for mobs. The glasses gives you guys 50% knowledge of gain chance. You guys do get this during the events and something like that once in a while. But you know, if they are 50% off like this, you definitely want to go for those sales and just buy it in the pearl shop. However, some glasses can maybe not be attracting. And so what you guys can do is press I and then just click the eyeball right here, guys. And it basically gets rid of your pearl effects. And so if you guys didn't like the outfit, for example, you guys can click this eyeball and then basically just turn it off. And that's what you guys can do as well for your accessories right here on the very bottom. So yeah, underwear, let's see, let's put honestly S tier or must buy, but let's just put it on S tier and same thing with accessories. I would definitely put it on S tiers. Reason behind that is you guys can't basically buy these, right? Once again, in the central market, only throughout the events. And so if you guys don't want to wait on the events and just buy it on half off, just go for it. I would definitely think it's worth it. If you guys also come in the right in the middle in apparel tab, you guys can basically see like the camouflage for Desert and Trent. And I highly recommend you guys, if you guys are PvP players, I would maybe get it because it hides your family, character, and guild name with unknown adventure 
until you guys actually kill them. And so if you guys want to hide yourself, this is where it's at if you guys want to buy these. And then after that, if you guys are into life skillings, you guys can basically get like Fisher clothes, right? And the effect with that would be like you can get yourself swimming speed of 50%. And then after that, you can get yourself like fishing plus one, swimming speed, and like minus 10 stamina consume while swimming. And then there's also a dive one for sure as well if you guys are into like diving stuff. And this one basically gives you underwater breathing for 30 seconds. And then after that, if you guys are into cooking, canopy is where it's at guys. 100% recommended. And it gives you guys basically increased cooking EXP by 15% and decreases the time speed by 2 seconds. So that's really, really nice for cooking. And then we talked about Venicil, guys. It's really, really nice for processing. And then this is my recommendation to get that as well if you guys are into processing. And then after that, if you guys like into training, you guys can get Vinia and then get yourself this, which gives you guys mount EXP of 20%. So all those, you guys can actually buy those in Central Market. So I'll definitely put it in, honestly, must buy or S tier. But I'll just put it on S tier for now. Mount Brand Spellstone is actually not too bad because you guys can't also buy this in Central Market. But what it does is basically reduces recovery cost by 30% when you guys are fixing gears for your horses. And then reduces resurrection fee for 1000 silver. And then decreases the durability consumption of mount gears by 50%. So it's basically Brand Stone for horses. And so that's about it. And it's only $5. And so if you guys want to spend that, by all means, go for it. Another cool one that I noticed is that your mount's chance to learn a new skill improved by 10% each time it levels up. So if you guys want to use this and then give 10% higher chance to your new horse, definitely go do that if you want. And hopefully that you guys can get RNG carried. So since we can't buy it in Central Market, I would definitely put it on S tier or A. But I'll just put it on S tier and yeah, just get yourself that for $5. If you guys are into sailing, there's a little one boats for these ones. If you guys want to buy those, go ahead and do that. And there's also wagon ones as well if you guys are into trading. And so those, they do cost about $20 and they don't sell in Central Market. So yeah, these are very nice cool skins if you guys are interested buying so. So let's just count this as a sailing and wagon skins. I would definitely put it on an S tier because you guys can't basically buy those in Central Market. And so yeah, if you guys are liking those skins, definitely buy those, highly recommend it. So compass, you guys can basically buy that in the central market. So don't buy those here. Family name change coupon, character name change coupon. I really hope that you guys don't make your first mistake making your care last. We'll probably not need those. Tears of the Wind is basically resurrecting your horse. But you basically don't need it. Because you guys can basically just resurrect them in nearby stable keeper. Alien Tears, you don't even need to buy that as well. You guys can basically get those from out throughout the events. And so yeah, not really recommend it getting so. Guild Master only for guild skill resets. It's up to you guys if you're a master in guild, right? But it does cost you $20 to reset everything, so good luck. And same thing with changing names. Perfume Eraser, it's up to you guys, but it's $10. But what it does is basically erases the family name from the pen's item. So if you guys basically bought any pen's item from someone else's and you don't like their name, you can remove it with this just for $10. And then after that, if you guys really, really want to, you guys can buy these extra life EXP scrolls. But you guys get a lot of those anyways throughout the events, and so not recommended. Interior is all decorations for your houses, and so it's really up to you guys. There's no any good or bad things about it. And so yeah, have fun with decorations if you guys are into that. And then if you guys need those extra mount EXP scrolls, you guys can basically buy it here as well if you want. It's really up to you. Usually you guys can get a lot of these throughout the events. And so I personally don't buy them. Premium Horse Appearances, same thing. You guys basically get all these throughout all the events. And so basically it's not even necessary to get those. Reset Mount Growth, same thing. There's really no point like resetting your, you know, death kills counts for your horses. It's not like, you know, car insurance where it's going to make your horses cheaper or something, you know, if they die so much. Same thing with horse breeding. It's really up to you guys if you guys want to reset their breeding. So that way you guys can make more babas. And then if you guys want to change mount name, you guys can get that for $2 here. Now we're talking about pets, which is, you know, if you guys get some kind of events like this with, you know, choice of three classic pets. Sure, go ahead and get yourself one of those if you don't have any more pets. And they're only $13, so it's not too bad at all. And then all these other pets are unnecessary unless you actually want these kind of effect. For example, Heite. If you guys look at these guys, they give you guys mount EXP. And then after that, all the pets are basically, you know, same thing. And so there's nothing really stands out and important. 
And so if you guys really like those pets, just go ahead and buy those if you guys want. And same thing with pet appearances, like nutrition feeds, you guys can definitely get those throughout the events. And so it's not really necessary to buy those. But you guys can't buy this cutie bone house. So if you guys want to buy that, go ahead because you guys can't buy those in Central Market. And then after that, there's a beauty shop right here. So if you guys want some kind of specific colors, you guys can go ahead and purchase that as well. There's also, if you guys click the purchase history right here, it tells you guys when you guys bought stuff basically. And there are some stuff that is non-cancelable or non-refundable, but there are some stuff that you guys can still cancel purchases. For example, Nader's Parchment. And if you guys hover, it basically tells you you guys can do so. And it seems like I have one chance to do it for cancelable purchases. So if you guys make some kind of mistake and want the money back, then this is what you guys can do. And so yeah, save this for your good beneficial. So this is my tier list right now, guys. Let's see again. Must buy. I agree with this one. This one. Yes. Yes. Because you guys can't basically buy in Central Market. Same thing with these ones. An emoji. Heck yes. And then after that, to be convenient wise, the horse calling horn is really, really nice. And then these are decorations. They can't basically be purchased also in Central Market. So that's why I would recommend you guys getting these. And then parchment. Honestly, it should be must buy, dude. Like it's so nice. Same thing with these family inventory guys. I think it's a must item as well. And then this is convenient wise, right? You guys can definitely use contribution points. And so it's really up to you guys. You guys can get your accessories throughout some events and give it out for free. However, I would honestly, these ones should be also a must buy because you guys can't actually buy those in central market anyways. And if you guys are into PVPs or PVEs or life skillings, these are where it's at for sure. And then if you guys want to be convenience wise and just be fancy on your wagons and boats, yeah, sure, you can buy those. Just keep in mind, you guys can't buy it in Central Market and so that's why it's on S tier. Same thing with Mount Brandstone as well. And the orb is on A tier because it's honestly not necessary, but it's very, very convenient if you guys want to re-roll again and just definitely buy those when they're on sale. Same thing with weight limits. You guys can't buy those in Central Market. And so it can be honestly S or A. If you guys also buy a seasonal pass, then they do also hand out, you know, the flute. And so all you have to do is do like a, some kind of quest right here. And then just add them together, becoming Celestial Horn. Artists and Memory Frags, you guys do get these throughout the events as well. Or if you guys just love enhancing, Artisan is just where it's at. It's really, really fun. And just to fix your durabilities for your Black Stars and Falling God Armors. And the value pack, you guys can basically buy that in Central Market. However, there's a lot of pre-order lists. And so if you guys just want to buy it, if you don't have any, feel free to do so. Megaphones is definitely also around A or B. It's because to give announcements on World Chats. There's a daily quest that you guys can get once a day in right above Storage Keeper in Calpheon. Talking to the little guy, but it takes like literally 10 minutes to still go running back and forth. It's no, it's not really worth your time doing it every day. And so I would recommend maybe just buying it in the pro shop or just wait it out and you do get a lot of those throughout the events as well. Black Spirit Pass again, it's your first time, definitely buy it. It's really, really nice for start off people. Once again, you guys get a training flute and so that's really nice. Inventory slots is really, really nice as well, but you guys can also get these throughout the events and so it also can be free to play. Kama Silver Blessing is also nice to have as well. It's just been convenient wise to get that drop percentage wise. Premium boxes, you guys can basically buy those in Central Market and you guys can literally get less than 24 hours. And so yeah, I would recommend you guys just buying those in Central Market and just grind if you guys are PvE grinders. And then maids, I would definitely say Central Market maids are better than the storage mates, because with the storage mates, once again, we can use the horse trick and then basically don't need the storage mates anymore. And then wizards are also here. You cannot buy this in central market. However, it's kind of expensive, so I don't kind of recommend buying it. So I put it on C tier. However, with my tier four trick that I made on YouTube, you guys can definitely go watch that. And then basically don't even need the wizard anymore. This is definitely RNG, right? And so that's why it's there. Artifacts, you can buy it in Central Market. It took me like one month to get one as well. There is a lot of pre-orders, but at the same time, you guys can definitely wait and just wait it out because you guys can buy it in Central Market. And you do get a 5% drop rate. And so if you guys want to get it as soon as possible, it's good. The reason why it's so low is again, you know, you can just buy it in Central Market. And so maybe that's why it's on C tier. But Black Panther, once again, you guys can't buy those. And, and so definitely buy the Black Panther one in Prussia. Tailoring, you guys can definitely buy that in Central Market. So it's, that's why it's on C tier. Same thing with book. If you guys watch my YouTube video again, you guys basically don't need the book anymore after that. Brand, you basically get these from events. And if you guys also buy from the Black Spirit Pass, you guys get two of those for free. 
And so, yeah, I don't really recommend getting it unless you really need to. And then horse skins, I would recommend you guys also buying it in Central Market. And so that's why I put it on C tier. But it's really nice to have that 1% movement speed. And so, yeah, definitely get that ASAP. And lastly, on D tiers, guys, I don't know if I need to explain all this, but you guys know why if you watch all my videos. I'm going to make a tier list for the loyalty next time because the video is already getting long. And so we'll see you guys in the next one. That's it with this video, guys. Hopefully you guys learned something. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.